I don't think autopilot can save you on that one. <laughs> oh my god, we are actually traveling to Mars. Look at that. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Hi guys and welcome to another Forza Horizon 3 video. This time around we've got something a little different. As some of you might know, uh, Elon Musk, the Tesla CEO of pretty much SpaceX, recently launched a rocket into space, the Falcon Heavy. Now, that's already cool enough to begin with, but the cargo that was on board with that rocket, that's what's interesting. They had Elon Musk's old cherry red Tesla Roadster on board with that rocket and they send it to space. Now, you couldn't make this stuff up if you tried. I think that Tesla Roadster is now actually in space and on the way to orbit Mars, which is just... <laughs> what are we doing? If he can send the Tesla to space, we can as well, especially in that version of Forza Horizon 3. Now, maybe some of you guys have seen my jumping across the map video. Um, that was pretty cool. We got quite some distance and quite some height, but it wasn't really like jumping into space. We weren't really that far up and I couldn't really get a bigger jump to work. So I had to get a little creative with this one. There are gravity settings in Forza Horizon 3. We can play around with the gravity and that's key. Now that's where it gets interesting because how are we gonna launch our Tesla to space? Well, we can't really jump from here. So we're gonna hit up the menus and we're gonna change our gravity scale. Now this is actually possible. Car gravity scale, we're gonna put that down to zero so gravity does not affect the car at all. Okay, game's already noticing something is a little different. Airborne gravity scale, we're also gonna change that one to, let's say, 0.6, I think. There we go. <laughs> and the Tesla space mission has begun. We are now floating in the air, or pretty much still accelerating at this point. Okay, that's kind of cool. Tesla space mission has started. We are on the way to space. A uh, few map glitches here and there, but also... Oh my god, there's another car. Oh my god, we sent another car to space. That's... that's kind of tragic. Uh, <laughs> he did not think that was gonna happen today. <laughs> I mean, that's a different view. Like, you don't see that every day in Forza Horizon 3. I think we can accelerate things a little bit here. Let's go for... 0 0.1. Here we go, that's a bit faster. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> We're going to space in our Tesla. Okay, let's speed things up even more. Okay, let's change that one to 0 0.2. Yeah, now we're talking. The issue is, I don't know if we like are going higher. I think we are. If you look at the car and the map, we are still going up. So we're gonna just wait for a few minutes and see how far we can actually go up. I mean, we are traveling like vertically up right now at 900 kilometers per hour. It's a Tesla in space. <laughs> Let's zoom all the way out. Is that the entire Forza Horizon 3 map? Oh, where's that map glitch? Go away. Go away, map glitch. No. But as the engineers at SpaceX probably said as well, we need more thrust. We need more thrust in our Tesla because 900 kilometers per hour is just not enough. Um, so we're gonna change that down even more. A lot of zeros. Damn it, <laughs> we've reached the limit. This is the limit of our Tesla. We are, oh my God, what just happened? Didn't look at the screen for a second there. Oh my God. <laughs> I'd say this is a buff stratosphere. Um, if the map was bigger, I think we could already see the curvature of the earth. Satnav probably a bit confused right now, I'd imagine. Oh my God, have we just lost the map? Oh, there it is. Oh my God, it's out of render distance, what? That's not good. <laughs> okay, I think we are now officially in space. <laughs> oh my god, we are actually traveling to Mars. Look at that. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Let's be honest here, we don't want to be here for eternity. So, we're going to reverse the gravity settings. We want to land our Tesla again. So, we're going to change the gravity settings to 10. And that one also to 99. Here we go. And the gravity scale also to 99. Okay, now we are talking. Holy crap, 5,200 kilometers per hour. Where will we land in our Tesla? Hopefully on the map, actually. Um, would be kind of awkward if we wouldn't. But I think things are looking good right now. Things are looking good for our Tesla. Oh my god, look at the speed. Look at the speed we're traveling down. Are we gonna hit the map? Oh my god, that's gonna be a heavy impact. Oh my god. Oh... 
Did... Did we just... Bounce? What just happened? Like, se 7,900! I don't think Autopilot can save you on that one. <laughs> okay, I think we need to go a little bit more modest on the gravity settings here. Let's go to zero, zero, and zero again. Uh, still pretty fast, but we are slowing down right now. Just over a thousand kilometers per hour. 800, 700, 600, come on. Okay, this might, we might be onto something here. We might be onto something. Maybe we can actually survive that landing. I'm getting a little bit dizzy right now. Um, yeah, it's not really better from the inside. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, we might actually land this, you know. <laughs> might not be a soft landing, but we might as well land this. Oh my God, stuck the landing. So this is now the first Tesla that went to space, has seen Mars and came back down again. There's something else I wanted to try. I can change weather and light settings in this game. So that's pretty epic. Like that's our Tesla in space right now. It's not the highest possible resolution, <laughs> gotta be honest. I mean, it could be a jelly bean. So it's now nighttime. We are in the city with a whole lot of tall buildings and skyscrapers. So this could be interesting. I'm gonna head back to our beloved gravity settings. Set that one to zero. Here we go. That one as well. And we're gonna set that one to 0 0.5 for now. Oh my God, that's a little too far. Okay, well, we're gonna have to stick with it. Oh, that looks amazing. That's amazing. That is amazing. Like, look at that game. Oh my god, I thought it was a UFO. <laughs> oh my god. That kind of scared me for a second. I thought we found an Easter egg. Ooh. That's... That looks really cool. Like, I've never seen Forza Horizon 3 from that angle. That's kind of cool. Like, look at that. And the graphics as well. I mean... Oh, look at that. It is really rather impressive. I mean, they've... Have they actually designed the inside of those buildings? That's kind of ridiculous. Like, look at that. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. A little bit different than usual, but I mean, if we can replicate something that cool in Forza Horizon 3, I'm gonna do it. Also feel free to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, that would be highly, highly appreciated. Drop a like if you like this video, subscribe if you wanna see more stuff like this, and until next time, bye.